so this video is still on representation theory in the previous video we saw a couple of concepts about inner product spaces and orthonormal and orthogonal uh, sets so we in this video we are going to see a couple of concepts about inner product spaces every inner product space has an orthonormal basis. Um, it's quite easy to get an orthonormal basis for an inner product space. Um, you can pick any, uh, I'm going to call it B1. You call, you, you, you get a, an arbitrary basis and then use that very messy process or algorithm called the, the Gram-Schmidt uh, Gram, uh, I will teach this on a, a list of linear algebra okay using the Gram-Schmidt uh, process or algorithm it's easy to transform any basis into a orthonormal basis Okay, so from any basis you can get through the process of Gram-Schmidt. Gram-Schmidt are two mathematicians. Okay, students usually think that this Gram-Schmidt is one. No, it's Mr. Gram and Mr. Schmidt. Okay, so you let us say that this B here is a orthonormal, orthonormal. This is a orthonormal basis for a inner product space V. Okay, so this is a inner product space. Okay, and V will be a vector in the vector space. So in these conditions, B being a orthonormal basis for a inner product space, and V being a vector space every vector v in a space in the vector space um, can be written this way inner product of v e1 from this basis this orthonormal basis inner product times e1 plus blah 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 plus v inner product en the last one here product by en or let me use another another way I think this is more clear written this way okay so vector v written on the base uh, written based on the basis b this orthonormal basis b okay so it will be the inner product of v e1 this is the e1 etc v e n the inner product of v e n okay so we are writing the vector v um, based on the basis on the orthonormal basis b 